you must be wondering why I'm running for office or what makes me good for this job. Well, as a resource librarian or director of an academic library or president of the Lebanese Library Association, one of my main tasks was budget and finance and negotiations and evaluation. And then I became director of a grants and projects unit, with all, which also held these tasks at very high stakes. And I was dealing with funding agencies that demanded a lot of accountability and financial management. I've always been aware that I'm accountable to my colleagues, my boss, and the association members for the decisions I make and the trust they give given me. So main components of success there were collaboration, communication, and transparency. And I will definitely continue with these traits as treasurer of IFLA. If there are glitches along the way, we'll solve them. I don't hide. I don't stay in denial. I'm proactive. In the end, no one is faultless, but there's always a way to get beyond that. Financial sustainability, well, I think as IFLA members, we've been trained on advocacy and sustainability, so we should be able to come up with a financial, stable, sustainable plan and strategy as an NGO. Well, to ensure financial sustainability, we're going to have to go beyond the donor dependence and membership subscription and the additional way of making money as an NGO. Maybe we'll have to look into being entrepreneurial and think of other strategies and mix strategies up or learn from the commercial and, and corporations that are succeeding. What is their menu for success? Okay, we will remain an NGO, definitely. Uh, we'll always remain an NGO. I will continue to be faithful to the mission of IFLA and what IFLA stands for, but I'll have to think of other ways to sustain IFLA financially as we go along. And maybe that'll have to be looking towards commercialization. What do I bring to the table as uh, IFLA treasurer? Well, inclusivity, diversification, internationalization. Those have been traits of all my life. Uh, my life, my personal life is a good example of that. I come from the land of civilizations where East meets West. I come from Lebanon. I was born and raised in Nigeria. I studied in the UK. And then I'm now working and living in Dubai. So I'm a very good example or geared up to represent a large number of members and colleagues in IFLA. And I hope I will be able to do that. Uh, I, 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 just, I just hope that we will be able to raise the questions together and answer the questions together. Uh, I, I'm really looking forward towards this challenge. Uh, that is a huge duty to any IFLA member, I believe. And I'd just like to say, you know, I've always, I, I always wish my colleagues as well, my running colleagues, good luck as well.